Hi guys and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading we are going to take a look and see who is the universe sending into your life next, okay? So what person is the universe sen sending into your life? Um, who is it that you're destined to meet with or perhaps you're destined to end up with? Um, or who are you destined to cross paths with and for what reason? So we'll see if we can try and get as much detail about this individual and about your connection with this person and the role they'll play in your future. There's also going to be a part two to this reading, so an extended. And the and in the extended reading, we're going to follow on with the messages and hopefully maybe explore the messages in a little bit more detail. So to access the extended reading, please feel free to follow the um, extension link that will be provided to you. Um, via the video below. Also, for those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out as well. My email address is also going to be provided in that section just below this video here where the show more section is. Um, and if you wish, please mention in the email if you wish for me to continue on um, for a personalized reading from this reading. I hope that didn't confuse everyone. Um, okay, otherwise, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. So, who is the universe sending into your life next? guys can fast forward this bit. Firstly, I can see that the universe has definitely been sending you signs, single, signal, sorry, and synchronicities regarding this special person that the universe wants to send into your life, this special person that you're destined to cross paths with and you're fated to meet. This is someone who is written in your destiny, okay? Your connection, your relationship with this person and the role that they will play in your life um, is already interwoven and it's written into your destiny. There have been, some of you have been receiving signs and synchronicities over and over again regarding uh, regarding this person or regarding this connection. Some of you have been, for some of you, this person is already in your life. It's someone that you have met. Maybe it's someone that you have separated with. Maybe it's someone that, you know, you're in a relationship or you're in a connection with. For others, it's someone that is yet to enter your life. Um, but if you have been running into the same person over and over again, okay, don't ignore this sign because maybe before you have missed the meaning of your meetings with this person and the missed the meaning of why you keep crossing paths with this person um, and you kept dismissing it as just, you know, a mere coincidence. It's not. Um, you know, there's a reason why the same person keeps showing up in your life again and again. Or if it's a different type of person, but essentially, you know, you're having the same relationship, even though it's with the same person. Um, again, that is not a coincidence. You know, there's a reason why that keeps playing out. Uh, for some of you, I feel like as well, you know, th there's a time where you were looking, okay, um, you were looking for an opportunity just to be with someone, just to kind of fill the void or just to have a love life or just to say that you were dating or you were in a relationship, Um but the thing is, for a lot of you, I feel like you're no longer, you know, you're no longer willing to do that. You're no longer willing to just, there was a time when you were happy to do that. And this is something that you were doing. But for a lot of you, I feel like you've stopped messing around or you've stopped experimenting with people because you're in a 
place okay and the universe is in alignment and seems to agree that you're in a place now where you're not going to go for flings anymore you're not going to settle for mediocre and you're not just going to settle or you're not just going to date or you know be in a relationship you know or have someone just to have a love life the universe wants you to be serious and the universe is responding okay to your energy and i see that for your love life may have been stagnant for quite some time and you may even for some of you, you may have felt as though you were waiting. And even though you weren't quite sure what it is or whom it is that you were waiting for, a part of you felt like, you know, you were waiting for the one. Um, you found your happy place, okay? Or you're finding your happy place, which is an inner happiness. And I feel like for a lot of you, you have been spending some time in solitude. You've, you know, you're spending some time on your own. You're uh, working towards building a better relationship with yourself instead of just settling or instead of just being in a relationship to fill a void or just for the sake of it. Um, you realize that you don't need anyone to be happy. Um, and when you've come to that realization, that's when you were able to connect better to yourself. In the moment that you have grasped this concept, that's when fate will step in, destiny will step in, and that's when the universe is stepping in to bring you one step closer to this person, to this special person. Now, for some of you, this person is already in your life, as I've mentioned earlier. This is someone that you may have crossed paths with multiple times again and again. It is not a coincidence that your paths keep crossing okay this isn't a coincidence you have in the past dismissed it as a coincidence but now it's time for you to take a closer look at why you know this is happening there's a purpose there's a reason there's meaning behind it for some of you this person is yet to enter your life okay but what you have done is you have you're in receptive mode and you've created space in your life both physical space emotional mental and spiritual space for this person to step into your life um, for some of you, I feel like there's this, the universe is setting you up with this individual, okay? Um, and for some of you, it's almost like this inner knowing that you know that someone is coming into your life or you know, you know, you're about to meet someone. This is because, this is because you're ready. Okay. And there are certain signs and directions that I kind of cleverly hidden in your everyday life um, and the same goes for love you just have to be close enough to detect those signs and to detect those patterns um, and for a lot of you I feel like you really are there are some events that have that have kept happening or that are happening here in in a pattern and it's repeating so this is a sure this is a telltale sign that the universe is sending love your way okay so for some of you I feel like you um, you have a twin flame connection some of you are in a twin flame connection okay and your twin flame here is present in your life they may not be playing an active role and they may not be an active participant in your life but they are there and you keep crossing paths with this individual and around this individual there keeps like these repeated patterns um, and these repeated events keep happening on a repeated basis and I can see that the universe here is lining up a twin flame reconciliation for you in the future for others this person is yet to come into your life okay but what you've done is up until this point you have spent this time working on yourself loving yourself um, you know building a better relationship with yourself you have spent this time getting ready Okay, preparing yourself to love and be loved here. The person that's coming into your life, you're going to have, or the person that may already be in your life, this is someone whom, this is someone whom you will have a very special connection with, okay? I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's not going to be complex because all relationships, including this one, is you know, no relationship is immune from conflict, from arguments, from disagreements, from you know, ups and downs. No relationship is immune from this. So, you know, it's it's unrealistic to to think that you're not going to have conflict, challenges that might present uh, themselves, or even obstacles that might present themselves either in this person entering your life or throughout your connection with this person 
but what the two of you will have is something so strong okay there's such a strength in in the connection in the bond and the love that you have for each other that you will withstand and withdure any storm and you will conquer any obstacles that come your way yes there is this intense connection i mean yes you guys will share a very strong sexual passion and sexual chemistry okay there's going to be this instant connection where the two of you will just be magnetically drawn and you will magnetically gravitate towards one another it'll be this instant feeling of emotional alignment and intimacy between the both of you yes there's going to be a physical attraction but it's going to go far beyond that okay um the two of you are going to have so much fun together um, and it's going to be it's going to go far beyond surface level conversations okay there's you're going to connect on a deeper soul level and it's something and you'll feel very secure connecting with that person so deeply um, a connection in which the both of you will you know respect each other as well um, this will go beyond any connection you've ever had okay this will go beyond um, you'll feel like you've known this person your entire life and you'll just feel like the two of you are meant to be you will connect in a way Okay, that is going to touch your body, your mind, and your soul. Um, you're going to be lucky to experience this because few people really do. And I feel like one thing that you need to know for sure from this connection is that you're, this person is destined to have a lasting impact on you. And you're destined to have a lasting impact on this person as well. Um, it's a metaphysical connection. This is what this is. And I feel like, you know, it's so special that you need to understand the depths of this it's this deep level of respect for each other that you'll have and it's going to be the found the very foundation on which your connection will be built upon um, it's not going to be one-sided okay because when a relationship is one-sided it can never reach that deeper metaphysical level it's simply destined to fizzle out and this isn't what this is this is you know two people respecting each other two people opening up being vulnerable and feeling comfortable in each other's company. This is um, supporting each other, even if your views are going to be different. And they will, okay? They won't all, you know, will your views won't always be the same. You're both going to be very honest with each other, completely honest where you'll find, and in having this really open, honest conversation, communication and connection, you'll find yourself being able to force to forge a much more deeper much more emotional metaphysical relationship so you're going to open yourself um, up to this person about things you've never shared with anyone before and you might think that okay this isn't something that you're ready to do this isn't something that you're comfortable but you're going to be so comfortable in this person's energy that um, you're going to want to open up to this person as much they, as they will be opening up to you as well um, honesty there's a lot of honesty in this connection and honesty breeds trust in a relationship okay and this is honesty is the basis on which a relationship thrives um and let's face it you know everyone has little secrets that they keep hidden within but this is someone that you're going to want to for this person to see who you are and all of you you know the raw you um, I did mention that you will feel as though you've known this person your whole life, which does have, you know, which does have the, um, it's it's this surreal feeling, but it also feel natural. It does give off an indication of a twin flame or a soulmate type of a connection, okay? So when you meet your soulmate, that connection is instant. And because you've got the Wheel of Fortune here, this is the, uh, the card of fate, the card of destiny. So when you meet this person, there's no doubt or fear in your mind that, this is the one for you okay this is the person that you're meant to end up with this is the person that you're you know uh, destined for and even if you're meeting for the very first time it's like you've known each other for forever for your whole lifetime this person is going to bring out your hidden talents as well um some talents that you didn't even know you've had they're going to and that's the role of a soulmate um they're going to inspire you and they're going to help bring out something within you, um, out into the surface. Um, you're both going to be very drawn to each other. I did speak about that, you know, magnetic attraction, that chemistry. And you'll both instantly feel this connection. 
Um, and even when you guys are going to be apart, or even when you are apart, it's like you're both going to be thinking about each other and thinking about, you know, when you're going to come back to each other again. You won't see anyone else in the room but this person. And your gut is going to trust your gut on this one because it's going to take the lead. It's going to... Um, there's just no way of you fighting or trying to shake off the feelings that you'll have for this person. Okay, so any intuitive associations that you will get around this individual will tell you that, yes, this person is the one, that instant soul recognition. It's this pull. It's this instinctive Pull that you will feel towards this individual and this feeling is not going to leave you okay so don't doubt the feeling not that, that you will doubt it but just putting that out there that metaphys that metaphysical attraction is simply going to grow throughout the relationship throughout the connection I'm also seeing that your conversations are going to turn very deep um, as will your level of connection so conversations are a very important element of a relationship interactions with uh, people in our daily life um, are very important and I feel like it takes a very special person to be able to you know open up to and this is someone that even having a relationship with this person or a connection is absolutely going to be important for your well-being so to me it feels like you're both willing to do anything for each other honestly and you felt there's just such a strong desire to keep each other happy, to keep each other safe. You know, you just want to help this person. You want to support this person. Um, you'll each be each other's heroes. Speaking of heroes, there's going to be this hero instinct that is going to be activated in the relationship. Um, psychology explains it where, you know, it's a man or a woman stepping up for each other, showing that they care about each other and, you know, um, for example, a man may, might want to step up for the woman and when a man's hero instinct is triggered, he'll become far more happier and satisfied in the relationship uh, and is therefore much more likely to engage and commit. Um, such a flow, flow of a flow of communication, flow of co conversation, and such a flow of your energies as well. Um, in part two of the reading, guys, I just want to I'm going to continue on with the messages. I really am because I feel like there's a lot more that I want to share with you, and maybe how it is you might meet this person, or if you've already met this person, um, what else you might need to know. You know what are the next steps from here. So follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below. Thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. Bye for now.